All right, guys, so what you see before you is a sample research paper <clears throat> formatted according to MLA standards. Um, remember that MLA requires, first of all, your margins be set at one inch all the way around. Okay, so one inch all the way around. In order to do this, you're going to click on Layout, <clears throat> your menu up here at the top. You're going to go to Margins, click Margins, and um, Word has a preset um, <clears throat> margins choice called normal that's one inch you see top left bottom and right so you're going to select that and that automatically will make your margins correct <clears throat> the other thing that you'll note is that all of your paper is double spaced evenly okay so you can do that here as well but you can also do this from your home menu um, before you even start typing on home, you can click this little line and paragraph spacing icon, and you want to make sure that 2.0 is checked. Now, the other thing you want to make sure of is that you don't have extra spaces set before or after paragraphs. So in order to do that, click the little tiny arrow in the corner of the paragraph box. This little menu will pop up, and you see where it says spacing before and after? <clears throat> you want to make sure that both of those are set to zero. Um, which they are in this case. So that's perfect. You can also double check your spacing here. Line spacing is set to double and then you're going to say okay. <clears throat> so that's going to get everything set for you as far as just the general format. Remember that you're also required to have a header that has your last name plus the page number. So very quickly on how to do that. You're going to double click up here in the margin. Um, in, the, in the white space at the top. That's going to make this header, you see the little dotted line going across it, <clears throat> that makes the header portion pop up. So then you can type in it, like if my last name were Harbison, then I can type that. <clears throat> the other thing I can do then is go up here to my menu and I can click page number, um, top of page, and then I want to choose plane number three where it's all the way to the right. Okay, and then I've got to go back and add in my name before that. <clears throat> What's that going? What that's going to do is make the page number change automatically for each page. Um, and then I just double click off of that, and voila, I have my header. Okay, so that's how you set that up. Then if you go down to your Works Cited page, <clears throat> and this one's crazy, I know, because it has all of the highlighting, you have to do what's called a hanging indent. Hanging indent per source means that the first line is all the way over to the left margin. Any line after the first line has to be indented one tab. Now, Word makes this a little bit tricky. So let's go here and I'm going to um, copy a source. Let me unhighlight it. So this is it, and let's say there's more to it. More to this source. It continues. I misspelled that. Um, here is the URL, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's pretend that's obviously not a correct source, but let's pretend that this information in red is one source. Um, I have to make the second line indent a tab. So if I just hit tab, it indents the whole thing, which is not what we want. Instead, you have to hit enter, which doesn't seem to do anything, but you heard me hit it, and then hit tab. And that creates what's called the hanging indent. Okay, so one more time, you hit enter and then tab in order to create the hanging indent. Um, all right, guys, that is pretty much it in regard to our um, setting up and formatting a Word document for MLA. Thanks.